welcome back to Essex LFC Reds TV. Today it's an unbagging video. It's a nice little parcel that's just arrived. When I say arrived, it's already been sitting in my house for like a couple of weeks. But I'm um, going to unbag it now. Same old principle. I'll um, obviously introduce it. You've seen what I'm unbagging. I'm going to then do film me unbagging it. A few close ups of the details, and I'll come back straight after to give you my first thoughts and honest opinions. And if it looks as good as I hope, then I'll stick all the links to the DH Gate sellers in the description below. Anyway, uh, stay tuned. I'll be back straight after this little montage. <music> only right to get his own shirt you know it had to be done it had to be done really so I think it's going to turn out to be signing of the season for Liverpool um, well it's only our kind of main signing wasn't it but this um, I bought this shirt this is not for me it's for someone else and uh, they have Italian heritage so that's why we put Gies on the back but this I thought I might as well just get it as the kit form to suck so and more to review i've already reviewed the uh player version of the home show which you can see on the channel and in the playlist got the shorts as well shorts look are uh, banging i like the color the there. the only thing obviously because we put his number on the back of the shirt they get printed on the shorts which is a bit annoying but um i'll just be wearing them around the house anyway and uh liverpool socks i don't know how kind of legit they are you know because they're Got a slightly different uh, label, but yeah, again, three pair of socks always come in handy for winter if you're wearing them in your boots, keep your feet feet warm. But again, this I think all in all was I think about fourteen pound between fourteen, I'd say between fourteen and seventeen pound, and I think it's more towards fourteen, and that includes delivery, that includes name number and the number on the shorts, so that's all free of charge. This is the fan version. So as you can see, it's got the uh, the woven badge, which is for me still the best badge. This should be on the on the player version, I think, than the stick on one. But um, yeah, all looks bang on. You know, all the details, stitching, as, as always, really really good. You really can't complain. You know, the seller that I use, I've put all the links in the description below. But the seller's one that I've used every year, every season for all my shirts. They're so reliable, they're so good. Um, 11 days normal estimated turnaround to the UK from when you place your order to when you get it delivered. 
they either normally come uh, by courier or sometimes Royal Mail, but mainly from the courier service. And you just can't go wrong. The attention to detail on these shirts, you know, are perfect now. You really can't. Um, there's no real comparison now to the actual ho real original shirts. I don't think they hold up against their own. You know, the, the quality is there. You might get an odd bit of stitching every so often that's a bit frayed, but then you get that on the real shirts as well. Um, longevity of previous season shirts have lasted me all season, all the games I've go, gone to. You know, I always try and wear a Liverpool shirt to, to when you go and watch Liverpool play. And they've um, lasted all through. I would recommend always, if you're going to wash them, is to wash them on cold wash or lukewarm wash or hand wash them. Um, just to just to keep them going but again i've never had any problems with with things falling apart really uh you might obviously get unlucky and have an odd one that say it falls off but again you get that in the real shirts but yeah this um this shirt is just purely for the chiesa um name on the back so uh, hopefully he looked really good when he come on against bournemouth making his league debut i think he's going to start against West Ham so depending on when this video goes out on the channel it might be before West Ham or it might be after and the fingers crossed he has an absolute blinder who's close to scoring the other day um cop end when he a couple of times but he looks really good he looks just hope he stays injury free and he looks really fast looks strong powerful good on the ball and I just think he just looks like he just really wants to enjoy his football and you know do fantastically well for Liverpool so You've got to support him. We'll see it in hopefully photos to come of his name on the back of this shirt and more um, magical performances on the pitch. But yeah, like I said, all the links to the sellers are all in the description below. Uh, check out a playlist as well where I've reviewed Liverpool shirts now from DH Gate for probably four or five years. And you can check all the previous ones out. You can see the quality. Honestly, I highly recommend um, DHgate and this seller in particular. You cannot go wrong. Um, obviously, if you've got the money to, like I said, to buy the real one, then obviously please do. It's not saying not to buy for the real shirts. But if you haven't got the money, you just want a Liverpool shirt to wear for the games, then this is perfect, perfect route for you. So enjoy it the rest of your week, and I'll see you all very soon. Right, so I um, was just packing everything away after doing the video, and I was look, looking at the shorts thinking, uh, uh, I think the shorts would be quite cool wearing a man house. And then I was kind of noticed, yeah, front of the shorts, you lower them down, the fucking cable ties at the back. And the things at the, there, yeah, look, fucking print, been printed on. Back to front, you believe it? After all that, bigging them up, so they've never had any problems. I've got shirt, uh, football shorts that are back to front, but um, yeah, it don't really matter anyway. I wasn't gonna wear them anyway, so if I do wear them, I'll probably just wear them in bed, but um, yeah, so I just thought I'd come back on, share that after giving it all the big and saying about how great they are. I've never had any problems, but yeah, please don't let them uh, these back to front shorts uh, ever put you off getting a shirt. There's, I've never had any issues with the shirts. It's, uh, yeah, I thought these were quite comical. I might try them on anyway, because I think they're going to feel a bit weird on the backside with uh, with this now. So what I might do, I might just try and maybe, I don't know, I'll just cut it really down and then just tie it so it's a really small little knot. So it's not, um, yeah, but yeah, that's a bit weird. But yeah, I thought I'd share that with you. So, you know, sometimes the magic of DH gate can... Uh, let you down. But yeah, it's still nice shorts though, aren't they? £32 on Liverpool Club Shop. Uh, that's probably cost me like 25p. So yeah, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? But anyway, yeah, enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the video, by the way. And I'll see you all soon.